Hello and welcome to African Odyssey. Welcome to a captivating journey through the life and times of one of Southern Africa's most prominent leaders, King Lobengula. His story is one of triumphs, tragedies, and a profound impact on the region. Lobengula, born in 1845, was the son of Mzilikazi, the founder of the Ndebele Kingdom in what is now Zimbabwe. From an early age, he displayed leadership qualities that would shape his destiny. As a young prince, Lobengula observed his father's rule closely. Amzilikazi was a formidable leader who had led the Ndebele on the great migration from Zululand. He instilled in his son a deep appreciation for the Ndebele's cultural heritage and the importance of maintaining their traditions. In 1870, Lobengula succeeded his father as the ruler of the Ndebele kingdom. His reign would be marked by both challenges and remarkable achievements. Upon ascending to the throne, Lobengula faced the daunting task of maintaining the unity of his people while also dealing with external pressures from European colonial powers, particularly the British. His leadership skills were put to the test as he sought to navigate the complex political landscape of southern Africa. Lobengula, a shrewd diplomat, understood the need to form alliances with neighboring groups. He recognized the strength that unity among African nations could bring in the face of European imperialism. Lobengula's diplomacy extended beyond his immediate neighbors. He engaged with European powers, attempting to protect his kingdom from colonization. He signed several treaties with the British and sought to maintain a balance between preserving Ndebele's sovereignty and managing European interests. One of the defining moments of Lobengula's reign was the signing of the Rudd Concession in 1888. This document, however, would become a source of contention and conflict. The Rudd Concession granted mining rights to Cecil Rhodes and his British South Africa Company. It allowed Rhodes to establish mining operations in Ndebele territory. However, Lobengula later claimed that the document had been misrepresented to him, and he had not fully understood its implications. Tensions escalated as European settlers encroached further into Ndebele territory. This ultimately led to the outbreak of the First Matabele War in 1893. Lobengula's forces, armed primarily with spears and shields, faced British troops equipped with modern weaponry. The conflict was brutal and resulted in significant loss of life on both sides. Despite the Ndebele's fierce resistance, the superior firepower of the British led to the fall of the Ndebele kingdom. Despite the defeat, Lobengula's legacy of resistance lived on. He became a symbol of Ndebele identity and a figurehead for those who sought to reclaim their land and heritage. Lobengula's name became synonymous with the spirit of defiance against colonial forces. Songs, stories, and oral traditions celebrated his bravery and the courage of the Ndebele people during the First Matabele War. Fleeing from British forces, Lobengula lived his final days in exile, moving from place to place in an attempt to evade capture. He found refuge among various groups, including the Shona people. His health deteriorated during this period of uncertainty, and he faced the heartbreaking reality of witnessing the fragmentation of his once mighty kingdom. In 1894, Lobengula passed away, marking the end of an era for the Ndebele kingdom. Today, Lobengula's impact on Zimbabwe is undeniable. He remains a central figure in the nation's history, remembered for his leadership and resilience. The name, Lobengula, resonates as a symbol of resistance and the enduring spirit of the Ndebele people. His story is a testament to the complex history of colonialism in southern Africa and the determination of indigenous leaders to protect their heritage. Beyond politics, Lobengula's legacy includes significant cultural contributions. His patronage of the arts and preservation of Ndebele traditions continue to influence Zimbabwean culture to this day. Lobengula's support for the arts resulted in the creation of magnificent Ndebele beadwork and crafts. His efforts helped ensure that Ndebele cultural practices, including traditional attire and dance, have endured through generations. Did you know that Lobengula was known for his famous white elephant? This majestic creature was not only a symbol of his authority and prestige but also a reflection of the rich symbolism that permeated in Debella culture. The white elephant was revered as a sacred and powerful animal, and its presence added to the mystique of Lobengula's court. As we reflect on the life of King Lobengula, we recognize a complex leader who faced immense challenges. His story reminds us of the enduring strength of Southern Africa's indigenous peoples. Lobengula's memory is preserved in Zimbabwean history and his name is synonymous with the resilience and determination of the Ndebele people. His legacy endures as a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who fought to protect their land and heritage. The Ndebele people, who still honor their heritage, look back on Lobengula's reign with pride and reverence. 
they celebrate his memory as a symbol of their resilience and determination to preserve their culture and identity. Lobengula's legacy lives on not only in historical accounts but also in the vibrant Indabella communities that continue to thrive in Zimbabwe and neighboring regions. In the pages of history, King Lobengula's name shines as a testament to the resilience of a people and the enduring legacy of a great leader. His story continues to inspire and educate generations about the rich history of Zimbabwe and the indomitable spirit of its people. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time.